day 39 on the road. Scuba Tony back in his hometown with turn two here. Uh, good friends that I used to ride motorcycles with and uh, having a good time tonight. And uh, my very good friend Miles is here. This is his house we're at today. And this is Miles. Say hello, Miles. Hi, world. <laughs> Miles and I rode motorcycles together for years, been friends for a long, long time. And right. something big happened today at work, and I, I felt like I just was so upset driving home about it. And then I saw the little light blinking. And that says, oh, there's a message. So, of course, I have to grab it really quick and see what the next response is. Look down, and all of a sudden, whoa, this car was right in front of me. So I had to <laughs> slam on the brakes, and I almost uh, rear-ended them. Was so. this during a, a busy time of day traffic-wise? Rush hour. As if there is no busy time of day in, co in California so, traffic-wise. Yeah. And how close did you actually get? Uh, pretty close. Probably about three feet. <laughs> if there was ever a greater example for the cause, that would have been it. And right then and there, I said, God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Had a bad day. All this is doing is making it worse. Indeed. Hey, um, have you ever seen other people do anything weird while they're driving? Oh, yeah. Them? Everybody's doing it right along with me. Oh, okay. So, I mean, the moral of the story is you just got to feel, or you can't feel compelled to just respond to that email. It can wait. We have to think about a time before we even had all these phones and gadgets and email. Indeed. When we used to make phone calls and actually talk to people for, <laughs> instead of texting them. So. Right, exactly. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing your event with sure. us, Miles. I really appreciate it. Have fun, it. Tony. And thank you so much for having me tonight. I'm sure. glad to see you. Glad to see you, too. <laughs>